using an Unreal drone to film. This is a Matt. Hey guys. Matt is the drone pilot. I am Julia, the lucky woman <laughs> sitting next to him and enjoying this trip. I'm enjoying it too. <laughs> okay, so right now we are driving towards Arlington Park in Pasadena. Yes, that's correct. And we're going to be taking the drone off um, to get some aerial shots of Pasadena and the surrounding areas. So yeah, that's cool. So what can we see about this drone filming? Yeah, so drone filming um, has kind of exploded in the last um, maybe three years, um, particularly in the real estate section. Um, a little bit in the utilities that you're seeing now, um, kind of inspecting power lines. Um, and then also for the cinematic shots in movies, TV shows, um, and as you'll see today. How high can it fly? Yeah, so that's a great question. The drone can uh, climb to an altitude of 1,500 feet in the air, which is pretty crazy. But on the legal side of things, the drone is only able to go up to 400 feet um, for safety because once you get past 400 feet, you'll see helicopters um, and other hazards in the air that we just don't want the drone to um, get into. So, yeah. Got it. Have to be very careful. Yes. And can it fly in the rain or snow? Yes, so the drone can fly in the rain and snow. Um, you want to be careful uh, with the wind. The wind is a huge factor. The drone can only pretty much stand about 20 mile an hour, uh, maybe 15 mile an hour winds. So you want to be very cautious, uh, but it absolutely can fly in the snow and, and the rain. Just maybe not a snowstorm or a rainstorm. So yeah, you want to be careful. Got it. I'm very curious. What's the difference between filming build this drone and the regular production camera yeah so kind of the biggest question or i guess the biggest um difference right off the bat is one is an aerial shot and one is a ground shot but even to take it a step further um the drone just gets that bird's eye view that you know you would never get on the ground you would need a helicopter and we're lucky enough now to not spend thousands of dollars um using a helicopter to go get these shots you can get wow. them as low as save a lot of money <laughs> yes you do so you save a lot of money and that's why people are so um, impressed and excited about drones hmm. interesting uh, this is a fantastic trip amazing awesome my first drone film experience <laughs> in my life ever <laughs> <laughs> yes so make sure you guys um, stay to the end because there is going to be some great cinematic shots um, that you would only see with a drone so yeah can't wait to see what we have filmed with this drone and you make me want to do a drone <laughs> live show a drone live reality show hey maybe next time let's uh. plan for it <laughs> yes so I think Julia before we go any further I think we should take the drone up and uh, get some shots what do you think sure let's... exciting all right guys stay tuned View. I am Julia. We're back to studio. So Matt, that's an exciting and fun experience. Yes, it was. The car experience was really exciting. Yeah, when did you start making money with drones? So I started making money with drones when I was probably 18 years old. I'm now 22 um, and I saw that there was a niche and yeah. So why is the drone filming a solution for the real estate industry and land development? Yeah, so when I was 18, I saw that there was a niche um, 
especially in the real estate market, mm -hmm. for showing homes not just on a ground level, mm -hmm. but with an aerial um, view. And drones have only been really relevant in the last three to four years. Um, and so when I was 18, um, I kind of saw that you know it'd be very useful for the real estate agents to have this third angle shot of kind of a bird's eye view that you can't get uh, when you're shooting from the ground. Before you started this drone business, yeah. have you ever played the drone? No, fun? so I never played around. I mean, I played a little bit around with drones. Um, my brothers uh, used to wakeboard a lot, and so we do a lot of um, action sports shooting, mm -hmm. um, and I kind of loved it ever since I kind of was able to play with the drone. And so, yeah, that's kind of where it started. What are those challenges you are facing right now in your drone business? Yeah, so kind of the biggest challenges right now that we're facing are people not being licensed. Um, and um, kind of, you know, you see a lot of people getting work, um, but they're, you know, they're not licensed. And so a big thing that I strive to do with my company is uh, hire licensed pilots and be very professional. Because when anything goes wrong, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're not licensed, um, you, you could not be liable. I mean, there's a lot of things that are flaws, uh, but the biggest issue I see in the drone industry is people not knowing the regulations. And if you knew the regulations, um, you would be able to be, get your license. And so that's kind of like the biggest thing right now is people not knowing the regulations, going above um, 400 feet, getting into airspace where there's helicopters, airplanes, getting too close to airports. Um, and it's kind of ruining and putting more regulations um, with the drones right now that we're seeing. What has opened up for you since you started piloting the drone? Yeah, so things that have opened up with me, I've been able to travel a lot um, because a lot of places kind of outside the United States and kind of outside of Europe, um, I went to Costa Rica recently and no one really has been seeing drones and um, to use the drone as a service for uh, land surveying and kind of shooting real estate um, and also mapping. Mapping is a very big thing. Um, you're able to provide the service that is more useful than you know a cinematic shot of the destination that you're at. So kind of for me opening up bringing a drone to these places that normally haven't seen drones and using it more than just that cinematic shot but more of mapping the area and so they can use it for data uh, with helping whether it's irrigation or growing plants. Yeah, so there's a lot of things you can do with the drones. You're so smart. <laughs> what do you foresee your business growing into? in the next five years? Yeah, so that's a good question. It's hard to say. Um, I would say, you know, Aerial Destinations was all about bringing different destinations together through drone services. And so kind of our philosophy is hiring pilots that are native to the area um, and having them go do work. Um, and so the goal is is to definitely branch out of Los Angeles. Um, right now we're working with a couple mapping um, teams in Costa Rica. And so really building a relationship um, and also with different destinations. For instance, we're right now we're working on getting a license to fly in Dubai. Um, wow. And so, you know, there are a You're lot of... You're running a global business. <laughs> we're trying. And so in the next five years, hopefully that is where we are. We're in a lot of different destinations and we have a lot of different pilots um, that are select and very skilled that are able to go home to their family at night um, and then also during the day work um, flying drones. And so, yeah. So Can't we'll wait see. to see that. No, I'm excited. So. Yeah. Stay tuned. So thank you, Matt, for sharing your knowledge here with us. And uh, this is a map view. I am Julia. Thank you for watching. <laughs>